preparing for what is being billed as one of the greatest mass immigrations in human history. Once Title 42 is dropped tomorrow at midnight, our border correspondent Jason Jones is in the air right now and brings us a report along the border. Jason. It's good to be with you. Today we're flying with Sergeant Vargas and Lieutenant Avila. We're heading to Brownsville right now, guys. There are large numbers of groups crossing from Matamoros into Texas, and so we're trying to get there. We've got a little bit of headwind that's slowing us down to try to show you here live what's happening. But it has been extremely busy this morning as we watched runners countlessly coming in from Mexico into the U.S. side and watch this DPS along with Border Patrol working side by side or trying to stop the flow of people who were working as runners, working with smuggling organizations to get into the United States. But right now, the goal is to show you these groups because I want to tell you over the next... Brian Harrison, Orlando Sanchez. We'll be coming to you guys after this report. And what we're seeing down here is that state and federal law Thanks. are extremely busy between those ports, around those big groups, trying to stop deadly fentanyl, methamphetamine, and the runners from coming in who are trying to avoid law enforcement. So right now, though, we want to show you these groups. Brownsville is really being overwhelmed with large numbers. So we're going to get there, and we're going to be showing that to you here shortly. But I do want to say one thing here. This border is wide open. These Border Patrol agents on the ground, they have been forced to surge on these large groups, and that's left the areas between those ports wide open. And we were seeing that this morning as we watched these law enforcement officers chasing runners, trying to stop them from coming into the country illegally. Back to you. All right, Jason Jones, thanks so much. And last night, President Biden admitted there is going to be chaos at the border, and Title 42 is set to expire tomorrow. I spent, uh, I think, close to an hour with, uh, with the Mexican president today. Uh, we're doing all we can. Uh, the answer is, uh, it remains to be seen. Uh, we've gotten overwhelming cooperation from Mexico. Uh, we also are in the process of setting up res uh, uh, offices in Colombia and other places where you can, where someone seeking asylum can go first. So, but it remains to be seen. It's going to be chaotic for. Here with their reactions are Texas State Representative and former Chief of Staff at HHS under President Donald Trump, Brian Harrison, and the founder of the Texas Latino Conservatives, former Harris County Texas Treasurer and U.S. Air Force veteran Orlando Sanchez. Uh, Orlando, I'm going to start with you here. Um, your reaction to President Biden uh, seeming to think this is not a humongous problem and is only going to get worse, of course, at midnight when Title 42 expires. Well, it is a tragic problem, uh, you know, and it's uh, here in Texas, ta uh, Texas taxpayers are going to bear the burden of this. We've got to provide all the social services, all the law enforcement services, uh, medical services for all these individuals. It's the Texas taxpayer that's bearing the burden of uh, of this massive wave of humanity coming in. And it is going to get extremely ugly. I uh, hope that there's uh, not violence because, as you know, there's a lot of private property owners and these cartels are bringing these individuals across private property. They're destroying their property. Their livestock gets out. For in fact, in South Texas, uh, we have a lot of exotic, exotic animals that people go pay big money to hunt. And when they cut the fences, their exotic animals that are worth fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 are let loose. So this is going to be a problem. Uh, Brian, uh, I wanted to get your reaction to this. Uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, the DHS secretary, also addressed the end of Title 42. Here is some of what he said. Let me be clear. The lifting of the Title 42 public health order does not mean our border is open. In fact, it is the contrary. Our use of our immigration enforcement authorities under Title 8 of the United States Code means tougher consequences for people who cross the border illegally. Uh, Brian, I think anybody that, it, you could maybe define the border as not open, however you arrive at that, but to say it's just the opposite suggests that it is closed. And any, anybody that's been seeing video or has been down there knows it's not closed. Uh, I would laugh. But this is too serious of a situation to laugh. Uh, secretary Mayorkas, he is the most dishonest Department of Homeland Security secretary in the history of our country. He was lying right there. He has lied under oath to members of Congress, asserting, 
under penalty of perjury, that border is secure and they have operational control over that border. They have no operational control over that border. Let me tell you who does. The cartels are the only ones that have any control over that border. Joe Biden campaigned on open borders. It's one of the few campaign promises he's keeping. Americans are paying the price. Texas is paying the price. When Joe Biden put his hand on that Bible, he inherited the most secure border our nation has ever seen. And he is right now trying to deflect and place blame on everybody but himself. There are only two people who are responsible for the economic, national security, and humanitarian crisis on that border, and it's Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Let me tell you what, we in the state of Texas, we have got to and do more. This is a federal problem. It needs a federal solution. But for the next two years, we don't control the White House. We're in session right now. We have to do more to save our state. Who's the first impacted and the most impacted by the Biden border crisis. And I'll tell you what, I'm not happy to report that the Texas legislature, which is dominated by Republicans just last night, allowed the Democrats in Texas to kill the only serious piece of border control legislation we can. We have to stay here where our session's ending. The governor needs to call us back. I don't care how many special, special sessions it takes or what it takes, what it costs. Because when Title 42 ends, the regulation we put in at HHS under President Trump, when that ends at midnight tonight, by Biden's own estimation, we are going to have up to 18,000 illegal border crossings a day. That means over 500,000 illegal crossings a month. And what does that mean? That means we have the equivalent of the 10th largest U.S. city illegally crossing our borders every month. Our citizens in Texas, the citizens across America do not deserve this. They deserve the government to shut down that border and secure them and to protect them from this invasion that is on its way right now. And everything that Joe Biden and Secretary Mayorkas are saying on this topic is an absolute lie. We must not let the Democrats get away with this. All right. Brian Harrison, Orlando Sanchez, thanks so much for joining us.